You are living in the times of the change of epoch. The Earth has entered the age of Aquarius. The transition doesn't happen instantly. According to the Earth's chronology, it lasts about 150 years. The beginning of this transition was in 2012. From 2020 to 2036 will be the most difficult period of the transition. People don't like changes, and this is normal, especially if there are changes of a destructive, painful nature. However, when we look at the picture of the transition holistically, it becomes easier for us to react and make decisions. An amazing hallmark belonging to this transition is that it is possible to get into a zone of time in which bodies will be preserved and will be able to live in a different time admit in a different range of frequencies. Not 70-80 years of life, but from 150 years and more. Now this seems like a fantasy, but the changing density of space will show us many miracles that will begin to manifest very soon. Especially after 2030. The strongest period of change will be from 2022 to 2027. The end of 2024 carries the energies of atomic explosions, which can trigger a scenario of the use of nuclear weapons, as well as accidents at a nuclear power plant. In these last times of the old matrix, it will become possible to especially trace the chaos that will give rise to aggressive associations of people who are not subordinate to the top of power and are capable of mass destruction. And already in 2025, the natural aspects that will carry the scenarios of cataclysms will come into force. The Psi field, which releases the power of the old matrix, works exactly in this way, in order for the Earth to make its transition. This is how the planets work, this is how the plan of the transition works. Through death, there is a new birth. Further, before 2028, people will begin to realize that it is impossible to continue to live under the yoke of the old matrix in the hierarchy of power. People will begin to feel their power, and in various forms, the struggle for independence will unfold everywhere. In 2026, there is a possibility of breaking out of religious wars. Will bacteriological or biological weapons be used? This probability is very high in 2023. In 2026, the acceleration of scientific progress will begin. There will be a quantum leap in technology. New types of energy will appear, and subsequently, the new types of transport, up to the start of the construction of a new spacecraft. Scientific discoveries will be accomplished in the sphere of cosmic research, and they will be made public. Also, 2026 will clearly show the beginning of a new education for children, which will be implemented everywhere and give accelerated results. People will want to achieve a lot of great things. In such a short time, we will be able to see tremendous changes in society. The accelerated evolution of people, who have been deeply engaged in their development all this time, will manifest itself. First imperceptibly, and then clearly, behind the scenes of all destructive scenarios. The age of Aquarius is the time of educated people, who are civilized, knowledgeable, dedicated to the unusual science of studying cosmic knowledge. This is the time when people do not stop in their educational advancement, as it was before, schools, universities. The process of growth in brain development, obtaining new information and knowledge, goes on continuously, without interruption. At the same time, the energies will lead people to spiritual upgrowth, in order for the knowledge of science to be combined with spiritual fulfillment. In the past era, people climbed the ladder of spiritual growth, in order to go through the process of ascension and stop there, finishing their lives in emotionless body, in meditation, without a desire to perform any actions in the outside world. The new era sets new goals, climb the stairs to the sun, become one with it, and move in the body of the sun down to the earth, and then live and act being on earth. This process can be compared to two streams, which are represented by two snakes in the caduceus. One stream flows up, 
the other flows down, and together they are one organism of constant life. If this circulation of energy ceases, the person becomes old and loses his body. Also here, in the image and likeness, the process of realization of the superhuman on Earth is going on, where the superhuman is a bearer of the solar consciousness genetics. In the age of Aquarius, first of all, take charge of your education and also begin to actively show all the love that you are capable of. Look carefully who is surrounding you, create order in your environment, take responsibility for your life. In love, cut all ties with the old. Those around who are not in consonance with you will move away on their own if you decide so and remain loyal and steadfast in your choice. With all responsibility and without doubt, the space of love will give you this. Give up doubts, it's poison. Act in the knowledge that you are always in the right place. There are no coincidences. Avoid nothing, accept it as it is and act in love. Imagine how, for example, a guardian angel would deal with human illiteracy with a fool, a blind man, who doesn't want to see, hear. He would accompany a person in circles of experience of falling, destruction, until a person would begin to change. Everyone wants paradise and a beautiful life, and many do not even think that developed, super-civilized, educated beings are the ones who deserve it in the first place. These are beings that bring order and progress, carrying living knowledge about how and what words to speak, taking responsibility for every word and every action. Those who know how to manage their space, their brain and their emotions. Those who do not adhere to the cosmic order will be sent by the higher powers for re-education. All developed, prosperous civilizations possess great sciences, the living speech, which is accurate and clear, various arts, living intellect, and many kinds of other knowledge and sciences. Everyone extends and multiplies everything he does, knows the laws of physics, chemistry, biology, nature, any laws of the other worlds and their movement. Hard times are coming for people who are unprepared, with a superficial outlook who do not know how to experience real, true love. People will refuse to communicate with those who are uneducated, arrogant, with those who live their lives with substituted concepts of kindness, paradise, loved ones, with those who do not know how to get along and communicate with others. For all those who have determination and compliance, the ability to get along, for those who cannot be offended, who are adapted by strong immunity, Easy times are coming up for them. Grow your immunity, light and power fields, and be resolute. Do not shift this onto someone else. Give birth to miracles and new life in your consciousness. You don't have to wait for the right moment, because it just doesn't exist. Everything happens not the way you expect. This is the time you've been waiting for. Enter it with dignity. You are welcomed everywhere by the time of new life. Turn on multidimensional crystalline consciousness. You are scattered in different parts of the universe. Live every day like a new birth of a star. Cut off all old karmic ties. Give yourself permission to live in consonance with all the rhythms of the universe and consult your guardians. You don't have to wait for a special moment. Already now, in your consciousness, continuously keep giving birth to stars. Reconnect with home. We are entering a series of diverse events. The speed is very high. Be able to recognize and interpret the signs. Indecisive people will be overcome by doubt. Higher powers will create special conditions for this. Understand the signs quickly and be bold, decisive. Align the field, awaken the space of living love. Learn real love. The one that makes the world go round. From 2022 to 2025, the higher powers will make sure that you walk your path to the end. 
so that you can pass the exam. Those of you who do not pass will be given a push in the form of obstacles and stressful situations that will be arranged with a purpose for you to still grow and transition. The first indicator that you haven't passed the exam is that you do not change. Continue doing only what is easy for you, what you are used to. Recurring situations have taught you nothing. Therefore, life itself will become your real teacher. People will turn away from the ignorant, those who lack knowledge, culture, including the culture of communication and building relationships. They will turn away from those who are prone to conflicts and indecisive. Higher powers will do this so that everyone can pass the exam. If you are in doubt, then stop it right now. Doubts destroy you and those who surround you. If a person is not ready for changes, for the need to change oneself, you should not vouch for him. Everyone must understand that he will have to change oneself within and live this experience to the end with full self-responsibility. The one who is able to love truly, he changes constantly, is involved in his education, knows the laws of the universe and will not allow himself to violate them. He doesn't leave an expectation of something, doesn't rely on anyone, and doesn't shift his responsibility. He creates love with total dedication. This true love beyond time and space governs the world. He lives already in the state of love with the present. The one who lives in an illusion constantly forgets his own self, remains in a state of search, dwells in the past or in the future. For him, there is no love in the present, he is used to being a seeker, looking for love and waiting for it. Everyone will be able to clearly see a person who has not learned to love. He will be drying up before the eyes of all. You must be able to see the clues, to see what your worldview leads to, analyze your actions, change your point of view, be flexible, live it sincerely, don't close your eyes, accept everything. Do not keep entertaining the state of grief. There is always an answer to any question. But one cannot constantly satisfy human curiosity. One cannot constantly answer questions. Remember that by doing this, you are not letting the person grow, because he is waiting for your answers. Create a space of living genuine love and make it possible for the person to grow. And when the time comes for him to take his exams, he will know what to do and will come to this starting point with the necessary living knowledge and the necessary experience. If next to you is a person who is immersed in his favorite activity, and you have known and continued to learn the experience of growth, of getting yourself organized, of flexibility, clarity, clear thinking, knowledge of living speech, of the experience of a person of a new life, who loves everything he does, with all dedication to the course and with all responsibility in his approach, then you have passed the exam and you live in harmony with the rhythms of the hologram of the new universe. Everyone will be tested by the higher powers. The one who is ready will be happy to meet them and he will become the one who can be called lucky. The unprepared, unteachable, ignorant of the signs will fall under stressful conditions in order to grow and get a chance to transition. Everyone will have a chance, but not the one they expect. It will be a leap into a new unknown reality. It will become fashionable to have a productive brain, to be a writer, to be extreme, to be highly educated, or the possessor of powerful knowledge, living it sincerely. Masculine and feminine essence must be brought into harmony, compliance, sociability, the ability to communicate with any person on any topic, to know the answers and clearly express them. Opportunities will be opened up to everyone who knows how to live every day like a new one, take care of themselves and their brains, who knows how to give a command to the brain to perform the necessary actions in time, who knows how to wear consciousness like new garments and not stuff into it everything that is unnecessary, turning consciousness into a trash can. People will seek the consciousness of the claircognizant. Mastery of online and virtual systems, electronic communication services and digitalization will develop. 
Happiness in life will depend on the progress of a person, his readiness to acquire a new, living, super-developed intellect, versatility, multidimensional vision. This is what is inherent in people with extraordinary developed abilities. Deep people, real people, or as we call them, superhumans. These are those who are under the powerful wings of the new era. Many will start taking exams at an accelerated pace. Develop the ability to get rid of all access. Learn how to painlessly go through periods of financial crisis. Always remember that it is better to lose the energy of your old matrix in the form of money. In place of your lost money, a new energy will always come, the one that preserves life. Learn to lose without regret and to understand that if one door closes in front of you, another one will surely open. Learn to act in the right way, whatever may come, and don't lose heart in difficult life situations. Use money as a tool for implementing the project of your soul, taking into account your own development. Do not desire to have money just for the sake of having them, just for the outer shell. Think of money as a tool for inner fulfillment, growth, development of skills and knowledge. People will begin to reach for new knowledge, something unusual, unaccustomed, esoteric. The ability to control your elements, brain, thoughts, and to work on yourself will develop, as well as the ability to accept any situation, the ability to make decisions and take responsibility for your life only upon yourself. You are love. You were created by sacred love. Surrender in love to all processes. Accept everything that happens to you as the greatest good. Become love. Become the greatest good. When you remember this true love, when you give yourself to the work that you will do with full dedication, then you will start thinking about completely different things. And you will always remember this step. You will respect yourself. Remember the fact that human curiosity gets to be halted by higher powers. Higher knowledge will never be given on the basis of mere curiosity and superficial interest that doesn't manifest to the presence of living love. And it may even happen that the further opportunities would be closed. Only to the one who is persevering, steadfast, persistent, creative, open to all processes in the exact situations that he encounters, to the one who doesn't avoid difficulties, and no matter whether he knows or doesn't know, he is always ready to accept his power as his real self. Only to this one it will be revealed. No mere curious person has comprehended any wisdom, and dodgy mind will not help you. Every idly curious person will receive a harsh reply from the higher powers, so that he doesn't dare to enter the words of others, because he is not ready. Only when the process of real love is put into action, your Merkaba is the one that will create the necessary phenomena in any situation. Remember, it's not you who will enter first, but your real self. When the first presence is one with you, then all doors and all knowledge are open to you. You will know everything you need on the spot. Claircognizance is the living presence of the higher powers. Only when you accept everything, calm down, no longer engage in a senseless curiosity, do not avoid any processes, but rather you accept everything and start acting in love, then you will be already living and appreciating every minute of your life. Life is very precious. All the mysteries of your life are revealed to you only when you act in active love. This is not activity at work or impulses to do something quickly, start bustling or running. It is love and an ongoing connection with the real self. This is the speed of your energy body, of the electric field of love from the union of attraction of all parts of the whole. Think about it. Difficult situations show a person his inner essence. Open all the baggage of negativity, expose all wounds, and his reactions to all events and words are neural connections from childhood, from past incarnations. Until you cleanse yourself of this destructive memory, the old matrix will influence you, will hook you and expose you to all levels of fear. The time has come to get rid of this memory. 
leave its records, to transition and replace the coordinates of your consciousness with a happy memory counter. The space itself forms the cause and effect for you. The speed of the energy body by 2036 will be accelerated several hundred times. Be ready to receive such love.